All right, how are you? It's Fern, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you what we can do about dog reactivity. Okay, so your dog is a little grumpy, okay? Maybe he's a little reactive, specifically with other dogs. What do we do about it? Ideally, what I like to do is like to get some other dogs, preferably that are calm, and we're gonna walk together. We're gonna change their state of mind, give them a new relationship, uh, build their relationship, and open their mind to doing it another way. However, that includes other dogs. We need to have volunteers for that. We may not have it. If you don't have other dogs to use, we can still work on it. It's not as effective, but we can still work on it using just what you have. What we need to do is find where some other dogs are in a controlled environment. So what I like to do is I like to work around dog parks and dogs behind fences. So right here, let's see, let's, let's assume that this, it says dog, very creative here of me. Uh, let's assume that that is either a dog behind a fence in a, maybe a neighborhood setting, or maybe that's a dog park. So the dogs are fenced in, they can't go anywhere. Okay, they're not going to come to us. They're not going to invade our space. I know exactly where they're going to be. And now I can adjust myself and my dog accordingly. So what you want to do is we need to find the sweet spot. So if you look uh, at uh, this 1 to 10 scale, so I call this the scale of reactivity. Up here at the top is 10. That's your dog is crazy, totally reactive. Down here, totally chill. Nice, calm dog, no reaction where we, we, we need to get him to actually make this be a good experience and not actually another repetition of reactivity. We need him right here. This is the sweet spot. Four or under on that scale. If your dog is four or under, he's workable. We can open his mind, we can work there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find where you have to be. So let's say that this is you and your dog here. How, what distance from the dog park or from a dog behind a fence, what distance can you be and your dog be in this zone when your dog is in the one to four range? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna work here and you're gonna have your dog and you're gonna ask your, you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna let your dog see the other dogs or the dog there. And then you're gonna, if he fixates, if he stares too much, if he starts to get all amped up, you're gonna walk into his space, block his view back him up a little bit, and what you're gonna see is that's gonna to start to, as he starts to climb up here, that's gonna turn him around and head him back down. You're gonna see him settle a little bit when you break his eye contact and his focus. You may need to move him backwards just a step or two, and then you're gonna let him see the dog again. You're gonna watch very carefully if you feel he's crawling up that scale. He hits five, you're gonna break his view, move into his space a little bit, let him settle. The other thing I like to do is to just work here and do some simple obedience. So maybe here, I ask him for a sit. Then I'm gonna move 10 feet, ask him for another sit. Then I'm gonna come here, ask him for a sit. Sit, sit, sit. And I'm just gonna slowly go back and forth, asking him to do some basic obedience, having him change his state of mind. So each time he's four or under here, if he's not, then I need to keep working laterally until I get him in the right zone and then I inch him forward, slowly getting him closer and closer to the dog there. Uh, the reason I move him back and forth is because when dogs stay stationary, they, can, they tend to get fixed and you know, focused and stuck. So just moving them a little bit kind of refreshes them and opens their mind. And that's kind of what I would do. I would just kind of inch him forward, changing his state of mind till eventually I can get him right at the fence and he's in a good spot maybe he'll sniff, maybe not. Also depends on how reactive this guy is. If he's calm, then more likely your dog will be calmer. If he's a little feisty, then I may, I may not let him get right to the fence. And how long this takes depends on the dog. This could take five minutes, or it could take four months. I don't know. It's always at the dog's pace. But that's kind of how I would work around when you don't have dogs present to use in a controllable environment, how to take the uncontrollable world of that's out there and make it semi-controllable so that we can still improve the reactivity over time. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments or somewhere how it does work for you if you try it out. Good luck and let's see if we can get those dogs behaving just a little bit better.